There is one thing I would say any new artist or musician could be doing to earn more money from their music, but most artists are probably ignoring. And that's just so sad because this one thing could result in a lot more royalties that are just simply being left on the table. Now I'm not talking about publishing royalties or those black box royalties, even though they are important as well, or the sound exchange royalties to pay for the internet and satellite radio, even though that's important too. What I'm talking about is TV, film, and video game placements for your songs. Now you guys know I love Spotify because it earns what I call Swiss dollars, which is streams while I sleep soundly or while I'm recording videos. And Spotify pays me multiple six figures a year from songs I wrote years ago. I love that, but it takes a lot of streams, right? And there's an even faster way to get there and that's TV and film placements. For instance, my song, Come Back Home. If you go on Spotify, look it up. It has about 5.5 million streams which if you multiply 5.5 million by 0 0.003 cents, you'll get about $16,500. Not bad, right? And that's just what it's earned so far in the last couple of years. Now, this one song also got a TV promo for a show called Bluff City Law. Now, they paid $60,000 for this TV film placement. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to get your songs in TV film, video games, how to approach them and exactly what I did to get my song come back home in this $60,000 TV promo. But before I do, I want to tell you about this free guide that my friends Michael and Jody are giving away, which is the musician's guide to license your songs in TV, film, and ads. This is a free ebook. The link is below, but it details the exact process they've used to generate over 10,000 song placements on TV shows, films, and commercials. Okay. And exactly how to do it. So how do you get your songs in TV, film, and movies? Well, step one is you've got to stop watching TV and movies and start listening. Listen to the background music that's being used, especially in commercials. Listen to the production and the sound design. Listen to the lyrics. Listen to the hook, right? Where are they using a verse? How are they using the chords, right? Are they using more female or male vocals? Because sometimes when we do a feature, we'll be like, hey, instead of me singing the song, we'll get a female vocal to sing it or just get somebody else because we know that that will help to get the TV film placement. Like this is a very specific focused niche, okay? So you want to start listening and taking notes of what you heard. Number two is pull up YouTube and search video game trailers. All right. Sometimes it's not just getting in the video game, but getting in the video game trailer to promote the video game, which is on TV and YouTube ads and all this stuff. And you can get licensed for all of that. Number three, take inventory of your songs. After listening to all those TV shows, movies, commercials, video game trailers, do you have anything that remotely sounds like anything you heard? And be honest with yourself. Do you really have anything that sounds that could fit? And I'm not just talking about lyrics. I'm talking about production. Is the quality there, right? And don't lie to yourself, right? If your answer is yes, well then create a folder and put all those songs in there and include the instrumental. If you don't have that, go ask your producer and get them to export it, all right? So you can stay organized. Now, if you don't have anything like that, well then you wanna see who produced those songs. And I would reach out to them or reach out to a producer that you know and see if you can write and make a song with them and start to write TV and film. This is what I do like on a daily basis is reaching out to new producers and people to write with. And then we book writing sessions and we write songs specifically for TV film. Sometimes we will release them as songs as well too. Sometimes these are songs that have never even been released. You won't see them on my manifest profile, right? So your next thing and Google is gonna be your best friend and LinkedIn is find out who the music supervisor was for that commercial, for that TV show, for that movie. At the movie in the credits, always shows the music supervisor, right? And send them a link to your music and start building that relationship. We've just scratched the surface here and I still have to tell you the story about Come Back Home because it's crazy. But I wanna remind you to download that guide, that free guide, the musician's guide to license your songs to TV and film ads. 
click the link below this video. Also pin it to a comment so you can download it as well too. Now, how I got the $60,000 placement was I had reached out to this TV film house that um, represents a lot of different artists. Get your songs and, and TV and film. They have relationships with the music supervisors. There's tons of sync houses out there. Just Google it up. Google's your friend, right? And they were turning down a lot of my songs. And because this is the thing, like I thought I knew what, what songs worked in TV and film, but I really didn't, right? It's very ignorant. Like when, when I was growing up doing music, we'd have hit songs on radio, all this stuff, but that doesn't mean they will work for TV and film. And I was quickly learning like, yeah, they're like, no, nah, that doesn't fit, that doesn't fit. And then I had this song come back home. And I was like, you know what? I emailed the lady again. I said, hey, we got this new one. You said you wanted some more hip hop stuff. So, so here it is, because they wanted more hip hop stuff, not my rock stuff. Right, that, that, that was the other thing I learned that metal, rock, there's not as many placements for that. Maybe the cinematic stuff, yes. So anyways, I sent them this song and, and I, was, I was scared to send it because I've been rejected so many times. But this we gotta understand, rejection is a part of the game. You know, getting told no to you is part of the game. And, but I was like, you know what? I think the song is cool, it's different, it's hip hop sent it within minutes she was like i love this and like and i was like oh my gosh and then i think it was in within two weeks we had an offer because she was like boom like she must have been working on a show or knew someone who was working on a show what's so cool is that it was a, a film placement in the u.s and also rights for canada as well too so it was kind of like two placements so it was super awesome really helped promote the song got paid on the front for the tv film placement but then also the royalties it generated so this is some powerful stuff so that's why you definitely want to download this guide um, that my friends are giving away and then they're also going to get invited to a free training that they're doing as well too so hey i'm always learning i'm always growing i want to remind you a fighter isn't someone who never fails a fighter is someone who never quits